Uh, Keith Porteous Wood, uh, President of National Secular Society. And thank you for what you did on U Uganda. Um, I'm astonished at the level of concern bordering on anger in Parliament over the established churches uh, declining to um, enable uh, the officiation of same-sex marriages. And it's a tone that I've never seen before in my 25, 30 years. Um, and it extends, as you know, to the 10-minute rule bill and, and even Sir Tony Baldry saying, what we need is a private member's bill to actually introduce that. And, and I'm, I've heard that there's, there's work being done on that. Um, were that to happen, uh, in a sense, Parliament saying, if you won't do it, we'll do it for you, what would your reaction be? And, and would disestablishment come into your mind at all? Thank you. Can you just define disestablishment for me? Uh, well, the... You need to use the microphone, but I need to answer the question you're asking. <laughs> ah, well, that's, uh, uh, I would say that it was the, the, the separation uh, of the church from the state, and it certainly would, of course, involve the um, um, removal of the bishop's bench and, and so much of the law that is... Um, uh, that I'm sure not everybody knows that the church discipline and uh, and the prayer book and everything are as much as English law as the sale of goods act. Would that go far enough? It's a help. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Um, no, it, disestablishment is a question for Parliament, as establishment was and remains. Um, uh, we could argue about whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, and there are varied views within the Church of England. I'm not going to say what I think about that. What I do know is God's bigger than that. I mean, it's not going to make any difference to the future of the Church, whether it's established or disestablished. It's in the hands of God. This is what I keep saying. And we mustn't fear the future. One of the great things we do is we get into terrible angst and fear and think it's all down to us it's not it's all down to god and to whom we must be obedient so am i worried by that no not remotely um second am i worried by the political turmoil no i'm not um because um the uh it, it, it's a normal part of church life and has been for the last hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, one of my favorite predecessors, um, Archbishop Tate in the mid 19th century from 1868 to 1881 had five disestablishment bills put forward in the first five years of his primacy. So there's nothing new about this. Um, so no, I'm not worried. If they do that, well, let them do it. We'll see what parliament does. Parliament is sovereign. It's entitled to vote on these issues. What the church would then do would depend on our consciences. And in the end, what we think, is, what we, after prayer and consideration, believe is right before God, uh, certainly may involve uh, refusing to do what um, the law says, as it has for Christians throughout history. Thank you very much. And thank you.